All right, let's get Savannah back on here. She was telling us on Friday that she didn't really dig the way that her man's place was decorated. So while he was away, she thought, you know, she'd go in there, rearrange a couple of things, and redecorate. Hey, Savannah. Hey, how are you? Good. All right. So for those that didn't hear this on Friday, kind of give us the recap of why you were going to go in there, move things around, and redecorate. Um, yeah. So basically, I moved into my boyfriend's place. And, um, you know, everything is fine. It's clean. It's nice. But um, it's what I refer to as beige boy chic. So (laughs) I just thought that it would be super fun while he was out of town for the weekend to do a little overhaul and decorate so that it was our place and not just his. Okay, fair enough. I think that um, it's kind of the other way around most times, at least in my experience, where uh, a guy is more comfortable in the woman's place because it's always clean and it smells good and stuff like that. So they usually move into hers. But she was renting, he owned. Ah, okay, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. All right, so you didn't like the way it was decorated. So he was gone over the weekend and you were going to go in there and just redecorate the whole place. That's right. Because oh. I, I just felt like it would be such a fun surprise for him. And, yeah, so I, I did it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, do tell us about mm-hmm. this fun surprise. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so I I probably should have listened to most of you because things did go a little bit wrong. Shocking. Um, <laughs> so I here's the thing, though. Like, to be honest, I was just so excited to do this makeover that, like, I was never not going to do it. So, um, he left Friday and like the second he was out the door, I sprung into action and one of my girlfriends came over, we cracked open the wine and we just started going in. So like, not only did I want to add some decor and spruce things up, but like, I also needed to get rid of some of his old stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 no. Savannah, oh, no, no, you didn't. Oh, that was a strong reaction. Well, yeah, because yeah, yes. it's rude. <laughs> you can't well, sell somebody else's things. Those are his. It's one thing to go in and like redecorate. And I was the one that was like, yeah, you know what? Probably not his thing. He doesn't want to do it. He'll probably be appreciative if you did it. But you can't sell somebody else's things because you don't know what kind of sentimentality they may have with them. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> So anyway, uh-huh. uh, I just went through, like, some of this was fine. There were, like, silverware that looked like it was about 50 years old. And, um, there's this box in the back of his closet that I've said so many times, like, babe, this is junk. You got to get rid of it. Like, all this stuff from college, like, broken picture frames, these plastic cups, just, things that are totally not functional. And he's always like, yeah, 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 I'll get around to it. So we took that stuff and some smaller furniture and listed it all on Facebook Marketplace. Mm. And, like, people bit really quickly. So we sold everything. We? And people coming to pick stuff up the next day. My friend. Oh, okay. Just making sure it wasn't you and him. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Um, so, yeah, I, like, included this random box of college stuff in the stuff that we were selling. And so these two guys came by to pick everything up. And like, I'm pretty sure it was a dad who was like trying to get some furniture for his kid who was heading to college anyway. So like, I was happy to part with the stuff and, um, you know, going to a good home. And so then we went on to the next phase where we started buying everything So we went to a bunch of different stores. We got paint, wallpaper, some smaller furniture pieces, um, set up wallpaper in the bedroom, and it was really exciting. So I went to bed feeling so good about everything we were going to accomplish the next day. Then, you guys, I woke up at like 3 a.m. in a cold sweat because I realized I'd made a little mistake and i gotten rid of something kind of important and that was pork chop it was what who's pork chop let me explain um so my boyfriend in college was like 
very into Greek life and super involved with his frat. Um, like not really my thing, but whatever. Like I get that that's a big part of his history. And so uh, there's one thing that like meant a lot to him from his frat days. And that was this framed photo of the frat's old puppy pledge named pork chop. So it's like, you know, those photos that they keep in frat houses where it's like all the past pledges, Mm -hmm. the alumni photos. Yes, exactly. So pork chop was a historic alumni and like the frat houses, dog like decades ago and kind of like their mascot so when my boyfriend graduated he was gifted this old black and white photo of pork chop and so i woke up and was like i think that that was in that box and so i went to the closet and like tore everything apart and of course it was gone so i immediately messaged the seller that had taken the box to let him know like everything else was fine but i really needed to get that back And so the next day rolls around and the buyer did message me back. But he told me that since he'd bought that fair and square, he was not going to give me anything back for free Mm -hmm. and that I'd have to pay full price to pick up that one photo. This dang capitalism thing. (laughs) Uh So I did like anything for pork chop. But then the next problem was that this guy and his son had been running errands or something. So, Long story short, they lived two and a half hours away, and so fine, whatever, but I had to, like, throw away all of my plans to finish redecorating so that I could drive to this guy's house and rescue Porkchop, but I did it. Savannah, Savannah, I want to pause you here for one second, because I think you are are, uh, missing the point uh, in this whole thing. This has nothing to do with Porkchop. It's the entitlement of you going in there throwing his stuff away or selling it without getting his approval on it at all. If this was a different time for me, that would be a game changer. Like somebody that did that without asking me and didn't have any kind of empathy or it just feels so entitled. So it doesn't matter what it is. That's a major, major mess up. So when he comes, (laughs) when he comes home, forget about pork chop and he sees the entire thing is completely different. What's his reaction? Okay, so actually, he got back and, okay, I didn't get as much done as I'd hoped to because of pork chop, but my boyfriend came home and he was actually, like, really excited about what I had done. Like, he loved the wallpaper, he was excited about, like, the accent furniture and some of the new stuff, and he really loved that I had hung up pork chops in the living room (laughs) and... Now we're going to do the rest of it together. And I actually feel like it was a really good start, but I did learn a lesson. And that lesson is? Um, to not get rid of my boyfriend's thing <laughs> and involve him in major decision making, even though the surprise part did go really well. Okay. Okay. You, you, you are lucky. Yeah, you caught a really lucky break here because this could have gone real side. I would have seen this as a value difference, like a major value difference. This would have been a deal breaker for me. For sure. But you got your guy. You got the right one. All right, Savannah. Thanks for the update. You caught a break. <laughs>